Oh my gosh, I can't take it anymore. All those IMs and inventory offers. Viewer 2 to the rescue with the new notification system. A notification could be a system message such as this region is restarting. Or in this case, if you go to region estate as an estate manager right here, and I was going to send a message to everyone, appropriately enough, friendly greetings suits the bill, and okay that, it shows up here, and there's also a count of how many notifications you may have. So if I kept doing it, let me just spam myself for the heck. Spam, spam, look at you spam. Two, you see, then the count will go up. And it's a similar case for when you receive an instant message. Just like that, as you can see. To make things easy for you to identify at a glance, some sorts of notifications, conversations, have specialized icons in here. So for instance, if you hover over, you can see it's another resident. It shows the picture from their Second Life profile and object transfers and such are also given similar treatment. Now, if I were to click on here, my notifications, I can see the queue of what might have come in. You can click on one to expand it like that, and then you can push them out of the way if you rather dismiss them, click and click and it's easy and that hides the queue. What you can also do, you can also right click and you can close all. So if you have a whole bunch of stuff you don't wanna deal with, close all. But for now, let's have a closer look at the conversation side specifically. Just click to open, you can see what's going on here. What do I have going on? Oh, it's an object transfer. Okay, well, give me a note card as it were. I can keep that one. Da da da, info, info. And then let's go on. Let's get into this instant message session. Each conversation, as it were, which can include instant message text chat as well as a voice call, if you happen to have that, you can drag it off and it has its own window. So let's click this one, I'll show you. It appears in their own independent windows. If you'd rather have them grouped as tabs, there of course is an option for that in the preferences under chat, where it says right here, and you can show them in tabs. Needs to restart though. And if you just restarted, as I just have, you shall see that each conversation now has its own tab. Similar option is the ability to tear it off and you can make it its independent window, redock it, or if you want to hide the left hand side, you can certainly do that by clicking. You can also access the profile. Now this is a change. They used to be shown in their standalone windows. Now profile, like other elements, are shown conveniently in the sidebar, so you can hide it out of the way when you want to do that. You can of course view pics and the notes feature is right here. Now this is another major change right here because before this was a part of the whole friends list. But now if you want to prevent someone from map tracking you as it were, or you want to give them the permission to edit your objects, it's found right here, notes and privacy of the people part, people tab of the sidebar.